Okay, today we learn chapter six. This is anchor and tangents of a circles. Okay, anchor at the circles and the center and called subtended by an arc. Before we go to the anchor, we learn some properties for the circles. So this one we call the center of circle, and this one. The outside this one, the length for this one, is we call circumference. We have two types of arc. We see this one is smaller compared to our compared to this. So the small min the small as the small arc we call minor arc. Minor is mean small. The big arc we call major arc, so this one we call big. 大的这个弧度我们叫 major， 小的这个弧度我们叫 minor. This is center. This is circumference. The anchor at the circumference subtended by the arc ABC. So this is the anchor at the circumference because because the For this, touch the circumference. This one is the anchor subtended at the center. Okay, so they are come from the same arc. This is arc A B C. Let me will see what is the relationship. Question number one: Given O is the center of the circle, set the anchor at the center. And the anchor at the circumference. Okay, anchor at the center. This one is anchor at the circumference. So this is at the center. So this is A, because I want to know state the anchor. So minor up PQ, minor up PQ. I want to know at the circumference is B. Try one more. Center minor up at PQ. Center so is X. Anchor at the circumference by the minor up PQ is Y. So you complete C D. Question number two. We just uh I just show you the answer. Because I just we just want to study the properties of the circle, measure and set the angles. You can use a protector. Try to measure out, so you will get the x is fifty and the y also fifty. You will get the x is twenty five, so your y also will get twenty five. This is the same length of the arc. See. This is equal size of the arc. So, if your y get thirty, same arc length, your x also get thirty. Because these two arcs, these two circles' length is the same, so our x and y's length are the same. Same with this one, the arc. Is equal length with the arc for this one. 这两个弧度一样，所以我们的 x 跟 y 是一样的长度。So what we can conclude that the angles at the circumference subtended by the same arc 一样的弧度 ，or the arc of the same length x is equal to y. 看这两个。角度是是从这一个 arc 出来。The anchor for the x is from this arc. We see the anchor for the y also from this arc. That's why we say the anchor at the circumference. Remember, must touch the circumference. Subtended by the same arc, 从同一个弧度出来的角度。都是一样的 x equal to y. 然后呢 the arc of the same length, 一样的长度的弧度 they also will have the same anchor for x and y. 
Observe the diagram below hence complete the statement given. So we see if sand land, that means their arc is the same. If this one is 2 cm, the anchor is 25. If this one is 4 cm, this is 4 cm, then it's 2 times 2. That means it's 2 times 2. So our ankle also well times 2. Same with this one. This one is 3. The anchor is 10. So 3 times 4 equal 12. That means our anchor also must times 4. 10 times 4 equal to 40. So the size of the anchor at the circumference subtended by an arc is proportional. This is a So Write the relation between the anchor in each of the flowing circles. So we see this one. P and Q is from the same arc. That means P is equal to Q. We see the R and X are from this arc. Okay. R is from this arc. Our S also from the same arc. So our R is equal to X. We repeat for this one. See, this is the R. A from the same R. B from the same R. C from the same R. So A is equal to B and C. So we see. How about D and E? This is the R. Okay. This is the... Uh, oh, no. Okay. This is from this R. So this is D. Okay. We see that our E also from the same R. This is our E. So, from the same R. So, D is equal to E. Can you complete C and D? Question 5. Determine the value of X in each of the following circles. Before we go to the question, we see that. What is the value for X? X is from the R this up and same with the anchor for this one so that's why we get 28 we have smart tips okay this anchor is from the same up is it so that's why we get x and y equal to y but this one the y is not touch the circumference okay the y is not touch the circumference, so we cannot say x equal to y. So x is not equal to y. Same to this one. This one is outside the circumference, so we cannot conclude that x equal to y. So actually, is x not equal to y? So we see this question determine the value of x. They are from the same R and touch the circumference so our x is equal to 40 because they are from the same up repeat with this question our x is from this up so this is our x so we see our ankle a also from the same up so our x must be equal to 55. Question 6. Find the value of x in each of the flowing circles. As I mentioned before, 
if the length of the arc is equal size, that means the anchor will be same. 如果两个弧度的长度是一样长的话，那么它的角度就是会相同。所以 x must be forty five degree. Okay, B, C, I left for you. Okay, we see question D. Okay, we see question D. Fifteen centimeter the arc will give fifty four degree. How about five centimeter? So I want to know fifteen over five is equal to three, right? So that means the anchor will divide by. Three or so, so fifty four degree divided by three. Your x is equal to eighteen. Oh, we can use the ratio. Okay, so you see, x is with five centimeter equal to. X is our anchor, so fifty-four degree is fifteen centimeter. So your X is equal to eighteen degree. We can use the proportional form, ratio form. Question E F I left for you. Question seven. We learn the properties. Okay, we learn the properties. Measure and stat. Measure actually using the protector, but I don't use protector. Stat the anchor x and y. So I when I measure it with the protector, I get x is twenty and the y is forty. When I measure the x equal to ninety and the y is one hundred eighty. If X is one hundred, then my Y will be two hundred. This one seventy is my X, so my Y will be one hundred forty. Do you see the relationship? The anchor at the circumference, the anchor at the center. So, the anchor of the circumference actually is the anchor of the center divided by two. 你会发现它们之间有联系，有关系。Anchor 在 circumference 等于 anchor 在 center 的一半，或者我们会说 the anchor at the center is equal to two times the anchor at the circumference。我们也可以这样子说，在中间点的 anchor 是两倍在 circumference 的。Same with this one. Anchor at the circumference at is half of the anchor of the center. Anchor 在 circumference 等于中间的一半，或者 anchor at the center is two times the anchor at the circumference. 在中间点的角度是两倍在 circumference 的。So the anchor at the center is twice the anchor at the Circumference 就是两倍 ，OK? At the circumference 两倍 ，the center is two times the circumference. What is the value at the circumference certain by the uh, diameter of the semicircle? See, this is diameter. So the anchor for the circumference is ninety degree. Okay, this is the properties for the anchor at the circle. So the anchor at the center is tangent by the arc of the same length. Okay, same length. The anchor for the arc with the same length, the anchor will be the same. The size of the anchor at the center is tangent by an arc is to the length of the arc. You see, this one is two cm, so we get fifty degree. So when I times three, become six. So 
50 times 3 become 140. So we see this is proportional. We say this Okay, proportional. In each of the flowing diagram, O is the center of the circle. Write the relation between X and Y. So can you write the relationship? Okay, so Y is equal to 2x anchor at the center is twice the anchor at the circumference anchor zai zong jian dian shi circumference de liang bei oh i say x is equal to half of the anchor at the center x zai circumference ma shi zong jian dian de yi ban Same for this one. This one is center. Y is center. X is circumference. So, Y is equal to 2X. Otherwise, I can write X is half of the center. C and D, you can complete it. Come to question 10. Find the value of X. X this is diameter so what is the anchor for here so this is x is equal to 90 degree we see b what is the value for x x is at the center that means it's twice at the circumference x is the circumference the We see one more question. Okay, we look at C. This is center. This is circumference from the same arc. Okay, they must from the same arc. Huh? So the x is at the circumference. So this is 80 over 2. So equal to 40 degree. D, E, F as your homework. Question 11. Find the value of X for the flowing circles. 21 cm is 195. 7 cm is how much? Okay. I use the proportion uh, ratio form. So X is for seven centimeter okay this is anchor right so 195 is for 21 so x is equal to Sorry, I made some mistake. X is seven centimeter, one nine five is 21 centimeters so x is equal to 65 degree <coughs> or oh, we just use our <coughs> common mathematics so 195 is for 21 so we get um, 195 okay this is 21. How about 7 cm? So we just time 7. Oh, you see that 21 cm 7 
So 21 centimeter. How become 7? So I divide by 3. I get 7. That means 195. I divide by 3 or so. So you will get 65. Okay. B. C. C. You just use this one 4 cm. You get 43. X cm. So 4 times 2. So you times 2. Question 12. In each of the flowing diagram, O is the center of the circle. Find the value of X. From the same R, this is the anchor of the center. I let it as A. So that means my X is half of the A, right? So how I get the A? A is one circle is 360,我怎样可以拿到这个A? A is 360-224,so I get 136,so X is Half of the circle, half of the anchor at the center. X is the So 136 divided by 2. So I get 68. Question D. How to get the value of X? This is diameter. This is diameter. So the angle here is 90 degree. So 2x plus 3x is equal to 90 degree. So 5x equal to 90. So your x is equal to 90 divided by 5, you get 18. Question G. So you see, they are from the same arc. So anchor for this one is 35. Sure, I know here also 35. Okay. And then one more thing. I know here is 35. One more thing. This is diameter. So the anchor for this one is 90 degree. So your x is equal to 90 degree minus 35. So you will get 55 degree. Now we see question H. Last question I discussed with you. Mm. How I get the A? Because you see, they are from the same arc. So this is the anchor at the center. Okay. This is the anchor at the circumference. That means my X is 2 times the A, right? 我这个是中间点了。他们从同一个arc,这个是中间点。这个是circumference的 那是不是我的X是两倍的circumference X is 2 times the anchor of the circumference. So X is 2 times the anchor of the circumference. X is 中间点, 是 circumference 的两倍, 所以是事实. So other you complete it. Question 13. Solve the problem. In the diagram, O is the center of the circle, P, O, T. P O R Q O T Q S are straight line. Find the value of X. So we look at question 13. 
try go to find the ice. Okay, let me see the question first. Huh? We know that PQX, okay, PQX, and then PRX is from the same arc. That means this one is 55, this one also 55. SQT, how to find the XQT? How to find the XQT? Okay, how to find the XQT? Okay, SQT. This is 90 degree. Okay, this is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This is 55. Okay, so we see this is the radius. This is radius, right? So this is 30. Sure, here is 30 or so. So how I get this one? 看到吗? 这条是半径, 这条也是半径. So this is isoscale triangle. 这个是等腰三角形. 所以这里是30, 这里也是30. So I know the total is 55. So the anchor of SQT, the anchor of XQT, SQT, uh, this one, uh, XQT, is equal to 55 degree minus 30 degree. So I will get 25 degree. So how I get the X? I know this anchor already okay i use the triangle okay remember 记得一个三角形的总数角度呢 就是180 is 180 for triangle total anchor so it's 180 minus 90 minus this anchor is 25 so you will get 65 Question B, the diagram shows a semicircle with diameter AOB, AC, OD, AC, AC, OD, okay, OC and BD are straight line given up AD is equal to up of the CB. Find the value of X plus Y. X plus y okay from this one you see from here i know this is reduced this is reduced that means i use this triangle so this is isoscale triangle 看这个是半径, 一样的长度是不是？所以等腰三角形，那么我的y就等于三十二degree. How about your x? Okay, I erase first. Your x. A B D. Yeah, we can use this one. 
second this is the same length okay same length so this is 32 okay now we see this is the same length of the arc that means this one also 32 so now how I get the X how I get the X okay I know this one is 32 already okay this one is 32 how I get the X This one is same radius. This one is same radius. Isoscale triangle. So this one also 32. So the X is, this is diameter. This is diameter. This is So your X is equal to 90 degree minus 32 degree. So you will get 58 degree. But the question asks, S plus Y so it's 32 plus 58 so you will get 90 degree question C find the value of X okay very easy this is the anchor at the center this is radius this is radius, this is radius, so that means this one is isoscale triangle. So how I get the value of A? For example, I say A. So A is equal to 180 minus 102 divide by 2. So A is equal to 39 degree. If you don't want to write the A, I can write the ankle FHG. Or GHF. Ankle GHF. O uh, GHO, not F. <coughs> so we see the diagram again. This is diameter. That means the angle for this triangle is 90 degree. So 2x plus x plus this one is 39. Just now I count. So 39 is equal to 90 degree. So 3x is 90 minus 39, you get 51. So x is equal to 17. Question D. Question D. The diagram shows a circle with center O, R, O, U is a diameter. R, P, Q. See, this is the key. Find the value of x and y. X. Mm. X is at the center from this arc. Same length with this arc. This one is the anchor at the circumference. Center is true time. 这个两个是相同的。Okay, 这两个是相同的弧度长度是一样的那么意思说这个的角度三十五应该会跟这个的弧度一样可是因为它是在中间点所以它要乘二 is two times the anchor at the circumference So we get 70 Okay, how about the y? X is 70. Do you see this is the radius? This is radius. That means same length. Okay. So, 等腰三角形 
So I know this is 70. This is isoscale triangle. So your Y will be the same because this is radius, this is radius. So your Y is equal to 180 minus 70 divided by 2. So you will get 55 degree. Question E, F, G, H, I left for you. 我让留给你当作是你的 homework. Okay, page 92 as your homework.